Okay, good afternoon, Vincent. Uh, this is Admiral Aquilino. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be here on the bridge on USS Carl Vinson, and I brought with me the Fleet Master Chief, Fleet Honea. We both want to say thank you for all the hard work you're doing out here. We know that we are being demanding of you. We know the difficulty of the mission that we've assigned you, and we want to acknowledge how well you're doing and how proud we are of you. Thank you very, very much. I had the privilege today to meet with a handful of sailors, certainly not all, uh, and I wish that we could have. But I did want the entire ship to know why we came out today and to ask for some of your help. First, again, I'm thankful for your service. What Fleet and I owe you is a safe, healthy, and comfortable place to work. What we all owe the nation are combat-ready forces to preserve our American way of life. We came out today, if you weren't aware, the Secretary of Defense has asked the entire military to do a stand down and discuss the negative impacts of racism and discrimination and extremism. Again, we were lucky enough to talk to many of the sailors today. I think we learned a lot from each other. Now, if you're unaware, there have been a few instances that have discriminate that have showed discrimination and extremism in the Navy ranks. A very small number of people have come out of hiding. While I won't talk about the details, I will inform you that that is not within the core values of our United States Navy. Those behaviors are unacceptable, and we have zero tolerance for those types of behaviors. The stand down you're executing today is the Navy swarming against this threat. Three star flag officers are flying around the fleet as we speak, and they're talking to ships and submarines on the waterfront and squadrons all throughout San Diego. We need to take this threat seriously. Our Navy thrives from being diverse, from supporting and embracing talent, and for building a family that respects each other's differences and pulls together to fight as a team. I'm here to tell you it's so important that the fleet and I left Hawaii yesterday to be able to spend some time with you today and drive home this message. We're asking for a call to action. We're asking for acknowledgement that there may be those behaviors in our ranks. We're asking you to listen to those things that our other sailors have gone through. And we're asking you to pull our team together and operate in the family that I'm used to. This is about our Navy. The core values that we've all agreed to follow and the oath that we have sworn, we are bound to. We swore to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And we embrace our core values of honor, courage, commitment, and respect for all. Without that respect, we will fail in our mission. I want to thank you again for allowing Fleet and I to come out. You need to know that we have your back. We owe you the manning, training, and equipment to do your mission. We owe you a healthy environment 
to be able to execute your oath. We thank you for swearing that oath with us. We've all taken it. And we're striving for an environment where everyone shows everyone else the dignity and respect that they deserve. Okay, for all hands, thank you again for letting us come. We are here to help. We're here to support you. We're impressed with all your efforts. We're proud to serve with you. And I look forward to seeing you again soon on the deck plates. Be safe. Be respectful of all. And remember, the United States is counting on the USS Carl Vincent team each and every day. Thank you again. Out here.